But for people that don't know anything about Squadron, Citizen Citizen Con showed us the first, uh, I guess, hour of gameplay. This is the narrative game set in the world of Star Citizen. So Star Citizen is the big sandbox, open world, MMO with your friends, everything that we've been doing for the last three years, chaos. And then Squadron is just the linear story version. It's the pro- Yeah, it's the prologue mission. Squadron 42 is the story linear game that is set in the same universe that they've been working alongside making Star Citizen at the same time. So they're working on both at the same time with obviously all the money that's coming in from everybody's crowdfunding, I think. God, Star Citizen's now at like, I think is it $600 million? It's the biggest, I think the biggest, I think it's around that. Is it gone past that now? 600 mil or is it 500 mil? 700 million? Oh my God. So they're, <laughs> holy crap. Um, taking taking that and putting it into two different avenues. Obviously I've been there. I've seen them all working their asses off on this. It's amazing. Um, so they've also been able to afford some amazing actors and it's been really, really cool. But it's the first time that we've seen any of it. And I watched this and I was just losing my mind. I was losing my shit. So I wanted to watch it again with you, if that's okay, before we play and then we'll play again. Welcome back to Star Sea. Thank you, Maggie on. It's been like three months now because I was away all of September. Probably, yeah, two, two, three months. I know, I know, hi Cataclysm. Doom. Okay, here we go. So this is this was somebody playing live. And I'll turn the volume up. And I'll just chat to you at the same time. I'm predicting Invictus 2026. That'll be. The most edge ships. Oh Henry. Farthest... All right, let me turn the volume up. He actually he looks really like himself to be honest. It's pretty impressive. Hi, Thagonix. No, this is not my first time, but it's a lot of my chat's first time because not everybody here plays Star Citizen or knows anything about Star Citizen. So I really wanted to show everybody. But but I was at CitizenCon live, Thag. I was there. I saw this in real time. I'm also in it. I'm also in it. Dun, dun. Okay, sorry. I want it to be loud. I want everyone to hear Henry. Or traveling to the farthest reaches of the universe. Dun, dun. Forging connections that will last your entire life. Fighting to protect your home and loved ones. Even learning what you're truly capable of. Cavill mentioned. Those are just the perks. I'm Commander Ryan Enright. I fly Navy. He asked to be in this. I heard that he asked. He was like, can I be in this? And they were like, yes. So this is the very opening where you kind of pick your stuff. There's also apparently a very detailed character creation that he doesn't really do or get into too much here because obviously he was trying to show us gameplay, but I think there's quite an, a significant character creation section as well, which you know I love. Yes, Cavill is a big, big nerd, yes. Isn't it, War- he loves Warhammer, I think as well, he loves. We loved, we love to see it, big nerd. Oh, you do that after the prologue. Oh, so after what we just did. Ah. So you pick, you write what name you are, etc. Your emergency contact, I'm obviously gonna put as Darpas. As my mother. Yeah, he really respects everything he does. Like he takes it really seriously and it's really like, Sometimes people are like, oh, you game? Not many voice actors game. And I'm always like, God, I... I, I assumed you talked to all rookies that way. Oh, or voice. I assumed you talked to all the rookies that way. The mainly female voices. Both both player characters' voices, I think, sound amazing. The male, the male option and the female option, I think they both sound so, so good. You know, sometimes one of them's a bit better than the other. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you. It's so good. I was in the audience with Bruce and I just kept punching him from excitement. Poor Bruce probably got bruises all over his arm. Go fixed. I'm getting a faint contact on bearing 287. 
You picking that up? Yeah, got it. Scanning now. Poor Bruce. <laughs> Bruce has to put up with me punching a lot. We're clear. Commercial vessel out of Vega 3. Provided that the civilian traffic is restricted under lockdown. Oh my god, it just looks so good. Copy that. Archangel. Archangel. This is Crew Gary. Come back, Crew Gary. Redirect to sector 7 Bravo Echo for immediate tasking. Copy that. If Fire I, away. in real time, was driving one of these, I would crash even in just transit. So I should make sure that I'm never, ever in the military in Star Citizen. They'd be like, Dimitrio, come in. And I'd be like, Phew. sorry, hit an asteroid. Watching this live, the entire room was screaming. Like we were clapping. Like it's the first time anyone's ever seen this. And people were like losing their minds. Every five seconds, people were like applauding. <laughs> I was so, no, I was, I was worried as well. I wasn't sure what I, I didn't know what to expect. I just didn't know if it, I didn't think it was gonna look this good. So when it came on, I was thinking I was kind of indifferent. I was I like, know, oh, I, I think it'll be alright. And then it just blew me away. But a couple of hours ago, proximity sensors on the other side of the jump got twigged and went dark. The word is it might be that clan that we've been battling with. I heard clown. I guess that last fight didn't scare them off quite like we all <laughs> Space hoped Space shit! Honestly, we've been out here so long, I don't know what to pull for anymore. Yeah, all new soundtrack with, with Pedro. I just wanted to let you know. I'll write as soon as I can. Stay safe. And then we get to play it in eight years' time. <laughs> I really hope. I really hope we get to play it in 2026, guys. I really want to. <sighs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. And looky here. A queen. A true queen. Never gets old, does it? <gasps> Sir. Julia. It is. I used to do the same thing when I was first coming up. Jillian, we love you so much. Post up to the flight deck whenever I could to watch the launches. American Jillian. Have you seen the F-8s up close? No, sir. The thing's a beast. Nimble, too. Twelve Hi, million thrusters and three mains. It sure sounds like it. We're having a little watch party for the first hour. McLaren to the bridge. Captain McLaren to the bridge. Wait, that technically means I've been in the same room as Gillian Anderson, right? If we both did... I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. If we both did mocap yes, on the sir. same stage. Keep your head up. Oh my god. It took me a couple times before I got in. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh. I should have breathed the air more. <laughs> And then into all gameplay gunners, for a little bit. Ready gear report to your turret. Repeat, all gunners to your turrets. Do, do, do. Oh my god, it just looks so good. I was saying to everybody Cute, moist and unbothered. <laughs> Thank you for the 2,500 bits. Cute, moist, and unbothered. Thank you for a bit of Mudang on our Friday. Always I makes things better. And logistics and said, Thank you, Omarak, so much. That's really? a lot of bits. Then Thank why you. Why are we sitting here? Vandulan's stupid. If they know we know, they would have hit us by now. <laughs> hey, they could take as much time as they want. Hi, RC. Only they wait more of a chance. To I know. Yeah, TJ. Well, she looks amazing. Whatever. There's also Henry, Henry Cavill and there's hey, Gary Oldman, Mark Strong, hey. Andy Serkis. Where's your helm? Can't James go Perry. without it. <laughs> Come on. Rookie mistake. 
I gotta get to my turret. Got to go up. I just, I think the light, they've done such a good job with the lighting. I was obsessed with the lighting. The fact that this is still a work in progress blows my mind. Hi, Kiefer. You do not know Gillian Anderson. Have you seen Sex Education on Netflix? Have you seen, uh, oh God, so many things. Jane? right? We've been getting tuned up for weeks. Wait, so that was my voice very, very briefly, but I don't think you guys are going to be able to hear it, to be honest. You might hear it. I think I say something like, how's your how's your day or something? X-Files is, the, yeah, the biggest one, but I'm guessing Kiefer hasn't watched X-Files. That's what I'm guessing. If you don't know Gillian Anderson, that means you haven't watched X-Files. So that's why I didn't bring it up. <laughs> you have indeed? Stop, Kiefer. You didn't recognize her then? Oh, you're talking about her personally. I thought you didn't know who Gillian was. Sorry, I've never, I've not met her either. Do, do, do. I don't think you, I don't think you're going to be able to hear me. I heard we aren't getting any reinforcements. That is your day. Is your day going all right? That was me. That's the that's all you get from me in this trailer. In fact, it might be all that I all that you get from me when you play the entire game. Who knows? But that, that was definitely me. Getting tuned up for yeah, that Bruce, that was me, Bruce. It's this polo initiative horse shit. <laughs> Our command's been freaking out about how to do it. Do, 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 do. Winslow and the Banshee told me they got denied on extra ammo for their main gun. Almost like the suits on Earth. Oh, TJ, yeah. You know, you know my, you know my voice actor. Do you know that already, or is this first time knowing this? Thank you, thank you. I'm really, really excited about this one, specifically. All the beds. Have you heard about this show, Lost Squad? Are they seriously doing another show about the fall Kel man? <laughs> Little giggle. Supposedly out next year. That can't be all. No, no. I, there's more. I do more. I think I'm in probably one scene, having a conversation with someone. I think that's all I can tell you. I think that's probably it. Maybe two. Do me a favor. I loved this bit. So the Moby Glass is like voice activated. So everyone's like writing home to their family and their loved ones just by talking to their Moby Glass and then it sends and it's just like, I just love it. Feels really immersive. Armor time. That's what the game is missing, some Mudeng. Imagine having an in-game companion that was Mudeng. Just by your feet, just scuffling around, biting everyone. She would be such a good companion though. The little flip that Bruce told me about from the previous reveals. Mudeng activated. Hey. All set? Yes, baby, let's go. I'm not playing, hey, but. Any sleep last night? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Sign me up. I'm an actor first and foremost, uh, TJ. I started on Twitch because of this game. It's Star Citizen was what got me onto Twitch and content creation in the first place. So I went to drama school, just an actor by by trade first. Cute, moist, and unbothered. Hello, bed. Yeah, the, everything just feels really alive. Like it's so populated. Just to pause it and be boring. I think because because Star Citizen is obviously it's a lot less dense with characters and voices. You don't, when you're walking around, the NPCs don't really speak to you. And if they do, they're upside down on the ceiling or standing on chairs or blended into one another. So like, it's so nice to see so much of the things that we love about Star Citizen, but put into a more coherent space where you can act, think like the, the environments that we love in Star Citizen are actually inhabited and actually feel real. Whereas in Star Citizen, it's a bit more disjointed because no one's talking to you. You can't like interact with anybody or that type of thing. So this is really, really nice to see that like the, the kind of crossover. Oh, bad news. The controls? I heard Goofy was assigned to your rig for this last shift. Where, so where was my mouse? Yourself. Your controls Sorry. are gonna be screwed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is Captain McLaren. 
Sitcon upgraded to orange. Yes, All Jillian. Anything you want, Jillian. Looks like this we can be will it. do it. Hey, good luck. Thank you, baby. See you up there. Will do. High five. You got it. Oh, fist bump instead. Don't die. That's definitely not foreboding. I'm not foreboding anything as to what happens later in any way. God damn it, Goofy, get the hell out of there. Paper's <laughs> lost one. <laughs> so glad you could join us. Hey, cutie. Weren't you calibrated and ready to fire in five? Oh, yeah. that's rude. Uh, he's, his voice is amazing. His acting is so good in this. I remember everyone screaming at that bit, Bruce. In the audience, everyone was like, Whoa! Mad. It's so good. And also how the tutorials were really seamlessly put into gameplay. You know, some tutorials are really clearly tutorials and it completely takes you out of the moment. The, the, all the tutorials I've seen in this just felt like you didn't even realize they were teaching you how to play. It was just like all in the moment. I loved it. I'm just going to do a full reset so you can get operational. Yes, I know. There was so much scre the screen tearing. Program. Hi, Dark Lore again. We're just recapping Squadron. Sorry. Dark Claw hates when we shout him out and definitely doesn't want to follow, so you should follow him to piss him off. <laughs> all right. You should be all set for controlling your turret. Next up, I'll test your firing mechanics. The system projects simulated rounds, so don't worry about friendly fire. So the guy was playing this on the toughest difficulty, correct? So what, what, later on, you see a bit more of the FPS combat and it's quite tough because he was on the hardest setting, I think. He's playing on nightmare mode. Haha, <laughs> Japer. Looking good. Last thing we need to do is verify your targeting. I'll load up a larger Vandal ship for you to practice targeting specific parts of the enemy. I love that this is all fake as well. Fake testing. They're not real. AI. AI training. Metal Gear? Metal Gear? Okay, your targeting is tracking solid, so that should do it. All right, love. Checking the other gunners, and they seem to be up as well. All right, love. Everyone up? Marcus test your tilt system says it's sticking. I can't wait to see your playthrough. I am going to be crying the whole way through. All right, people. This was my highlight of Citizen Con for me. Mouth shut. The box. Some people, yeah, some people were crying over this. People, I could see tears. Staying off comms. At least that's what should be happening. It's been so long. And so much, so much hard work. Sorry, sir. Dun, 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 dun. Did it, Bonsai? Bonsai, hello, by the way. What happened? About time. Did it, did it crash the Twitch stream? Nicola, thank you for the follow. Alshi. Alshira, thank you for the follow too. Welcome in. Bum, 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 bum. Gary! This is Admiral Bishop. Gary. For six months now, we have faced an elusive enemy determined to see the Empire burn and every human with it. I think pe because, Lewis, people have. People have been pouring like, 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 like obviously yes, money, but also like energy and hope into the journey of this whole game for over ten years now. I'm sure is that roughly. So like, I think Citizen Con always feel. I can totally understand how it would make people quite emotional at certain times because people have been following this for like almost a decade of their lives, and seeing seeing what all that work is going on and seeing like how it was getting like the point that it's reached. People were really, really emotional throughout the whole of the event when, when you're getting to see stuff like this because it's like, they, we, we have all watched, not me as much, I've only been doing this for three years, but like people have been doing it for way longer. People have just been watching this grow and grow and grow for so long. 
that I, someone came up to me afterwards and was like, I couldn't believe it. I was so embarrassed that I was sat there watching a trailer and I was crying. He's like, but I just found myself crying. And I was like, I totally get it. I just, people, I just love games so much. So I completely understand how this hits people in that way because I feel, I feel the same way. And that's just me having been involved with this for three years. I can only imagine if people have been um, backing this, not just financially, I just mean like emotionally even um, for 10 years, how incredible it must've been to see something like this having seen the very very beginning of it when you couldn't even land on a planet and then here you are now <laughs> it's completely yes it's one of a kind absolutely Each and every one of you has proven yourself time and again but today i must ask for more today we fight one last battle Oh, he's kissing a picture of his... I hope... I'm gonna imagine that's his cat. Advanced Recon indicates the entire Vandal fleet has just entered the system. This means a king ship. I remember that bit. His face changed. I'd be there in my ship, like... Now, some of you... will not survive today. Mudeng. But there will be no time for sorrow. We will have to grieve for them later. I, I would prefer it to be his cat. Be because funny. two billion souls in this system hang in the balance. There should be no illusions about what we were up against. Evacuate! In the history of the UEE, a kingship has entered human space a handful of times. Battle of Orion. Siege of Tiber. The fall of Calamay. It's Mark Strong. Sorry, somebody said, is that Stan Lee? Fleet. <laughs> St good, strong, History bold actors. We'll remember us differently. No, no hair representation. We will not have to worry about it being kind. Because today, we will define ourselves through our actions. He's also a great actor. Mark is a great actor. We will not lose the system. We will not fall back. We will win. Because we have to. We fight today. So in 40 years from now, when you're surrounded by everything and everyone you hold dear, and they ask, what did you do? In I'll the be like, of Vegas, I sat on my ass and had a lasagna. You can look them in the eye and say. And watched it from TV. I held the line. Men and women of the second fleet. Julian. I am proud to stand with you today. Yes, sweet savage. He was in Friends. He was, wasn't he? I, I forgot about that. The cast is a bit tasty, to be honest. Anna included. <laughs> Any word from the recon team? Not yet. Great. Good sign. Let's get into position. <sighs> Switching them positions for you. I held the line. Thank you, Spazzy. Hold the line. Beep, beep. Honestly, I just get goosebumps. Look at it! Look at it with your eyes! Gosh, I must say, it's nice watching it on a monitor and not on a projector. This is really nice to watch at home. Bum, 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 ba dum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh my god, the lighting. I just... The volumetric clouds. Um, if it's stuttering, by the way, it's just because I'm trying to watch it at 1440 and my internet is terrible. So that's nothing to do with the game. That's to do with me. So, sorry about that. I know. I know. It is like a film, actually. I think there was a couple of YouTube comments that were like, oh, no gameplay, just cutscene. And then someone very kindly redirected them to the Metal Gear Solid 4 71 minute cutscene and said, excuse me, which I think is fair. Fleet, hold fire until my mark. Snake! 
Snake! Snake! Yeah, I thought we, it did feel like a movie for a while, actually. The soundtrack, the music. Dun, dun, dun. Is lasagna a rallying war cry? Yes. Yes, that should be the name of my org, if we make one. Lasagna. Just lasagna, just that word. Yes, Arcos, yes, Gary. Yes. The baddies are called the Vandul. We don't see a lot of them in Star Citizen, but they're deep in the lore. And this is the first time I think we really got to see a lot of like, a lot of cutscene or like a lot of in-game footage of the baddies. And I was not expecting them to be as scary as they were. I was like, aliens are aliens, you know? And then especially a bit later on, on the like FPS combat. Oh my goodness me. Scared to death. Scared to death. But you get to see a bit of them here as we try and defeat them. Strip safety is from the Goliath. I have to hit him close. I want him live on launch. Orc-like. They're more... They Think of Garrus. Think of Mass Effect Garrus, but evil. What? What is? What is his alien type? Just wait and see, that's true. What are they waiting for? Star Citizen's release? <sighs> Hi, Bandito. A grasshopper! <laughs> Evil grasshoppers. Shruggin, thank you for the follow. Oh, shit! They are, they're just staring at it like, whoops. We may have over encumbered something. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, I thought it would be bigger. That made everyone laugh. It was funny in the room. Now, around now is when I would try and verbally negotiate. I'd be like, so, I can see we are unmatched. <laughs> Raj, could you make, do you mind making the chat box like 20% smaller, just a little bit smaller. Is that okay? Do you mind doing that? Just like a uh, slightly, slightly smaller. Thank you so much. Ship's locked, sir. In the law, that's ready. the Super King ship. It definitely doesn't Stand look by. like a small ship. Doesn't look like the Prince. I can <laughs> someone's compensating. I don't want to know about the intimate details of the Vandul in such a way, but maybe. Thank you, that's perfect, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Baby ships, release. Dun, 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 dun.
then that's the second transition to gameplay. You have a bit of walking around, then you go straight into turret time. Got one! I got one! Pew 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 for a while. I'm just gonna turn down slightly while I ask you a question. You know the little ships that the aliens are flying, the Vandul are flying. Is that game in? Is that ship in game yet? The little things that they were like flying. Was that a flashbang? Is it gonna fail the Demetria test already? <laughs> That's the blade. Is that the one with the uneven side? With the big ar the glaive. The glaive is the one with that's not symmetrical. Okay. Good going, kid. Don't get cocky. I want to play this and shoot that turret so bad. I I feel like I would die here and it'd be really embarrassing. Dun dun So if I'm right, it looks like you have to calibrate each target and then it locks on. Is that right? Because what, what would the calibrating be for? Or do you still have to manually aim after that? Do, do, do. Yeah, super kingship. There's, yeah, Bengals. Yep. Garrus is in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> the blade is the small one, the scythe is the asymmetrical one, and the glaive is the symmetrical scythe. Okay. I think I know what you mean. The, the asymmetrical one is the one that's hard to get hold of, right? Or you can't buy it anymore? I know, it is very Star Wars-y. There's like a really lovely modernness to it. Ba -ba -da, tatted one, thank you for the follow. Thagonix, thank you for the follow too. Thank you so much. You can only access the scythe currently by subscribing as Imperator. Imperator? Imperator? How do you pronounce that word? The question would be how many of her allies, how many of her ally ships would Anna be shooting down here? Okay, well, first of all, not every game is like Halo, where they let you kill anyone. Hopefully, there would be a block to make sure I don't shoot my own people. All of them? Right. Mario, <laughs> Mario said I'd already be dead. <laughs> Get back in the fight. There's no block. There's, is Friendly Fire on? Friendly Fire's on? Oh, no. Okay, back into a cutscene. I'll turn it up a bit again. I don't know if this is when things start going wrong or right. The real question is, can you parallel park? I, uh, no comment. August, shift your position back and drift eight degrees off x-axis. That was the advice I would bring give as well. Bring the Moiler into your field of fire. Corvers, shift back. Redirect to fill the gap and take those gunboats off integrity. Scimitar. We return to play bait. Uh oh. Oh, the laser weapon thing. Forward. Let's see how strong their line is. Raiden, you're their support. I would have volunteered to retreat in the first five minutes. I would have seen that big ship and been like, turn around. Now. Impact 
back, sir. Could have been capital ship fire. No, it's too focused. It's more like heavy fighters. Do we have a line on them? Turrets have been taken out, sir. Missile hit the belly. Boy, Come in. Belly shot. We need you to sweep up some fighters on us. Body shot. On it, sir. This is a bait and switch. Get us in close. <laughs> Aye, sir. I know real fried rice. You're up stunning. to our gunners. We're guarding Bishop here. Such a good looking. Make me proud. Opening. Make Gillian Anderson proud. She said what she said. More pew pew, but on the bigger ship. Alright, Captain. I want those dull ships fried and crispy. Copy. Hi, Captain. Copy that. Honored, sir. Hello, Michael. I think he just said I want those ships fried and crispy. Delicious. Sounds tasty. Anything for Jillian. What a 10 out of 10 actress and human. I love her so much. With seasoning? Tasty, crispy, fried metal. Delicious. Well, technically, you can eat gold flakes, can't you? Maybe we should... People need to repurpose all of this scrap metal and just make it sustenance. Yes, yes ma'am. That is the opposite. Cute, moist, and unbothered. Yes, I am one known. Yes, I am. I did mocap. Um... I did one day of mocap on this game just for um, little bits and bobs. So I should be dotted around a few places, but not, not crazy amounts. Oh, it just looks so fun. And I love the, I love the see-through moment so you can see where, where its weak points are. Shoot the armor off of it and then send it, send it. I'm trying not to make it too loud for you. That's true. Do the Vandal... Are they edible? Maybe? <laughs> Mudeng is so cute, I know. You know in Far Cry 6, you've got those um, animal companions. Mudeng would be such a good companion. Pew, pew, pew. Probably too gamey. Tough, tough, they look tough. Never disappoint Gillian Anderson, never make Keanu Reeves cry, and never under any circumstances eat Anna's lasagna. You don't want to get the wrath, Nate. My lasagna is my lasagna. I'm not sure all these actors have had the full naval training required for combat. Hey, some of them get pretty method. You don't know. They might have popped in, done a few, uh, done a few months in uh, naval training, just for this. McClark, thank you for the follow. That's true. It's probably not ethical to eat the vandal. Good point. Good point. We're going to take that. We're going to take that subject matter off the table. We're not going to eat anyone. We're going to stick to eating actual food, space food, freeze-dried food, freeze-dried ice creams. And those weird wrinkly carrot-like fruits in Star Citizen that always give me the creeps. Hi, Hanmi. Hopefully this game runs better than yesterday at my PC. Which, what were you trying to load up yesterday, Han? Hello, Marcus. Melchior's here. Beetlejuice, hello. Yorman. I'm willing to bet Vandals may eat humans. I, I wouldn't doubt that, no. Good point. They seem savage and hungry. They look hungry all the time. I also think it's like they give you a decent amount of time before the ship like becomes incapacitated. It's not just like it's really easy and they blow up really quickly. But it could be because of the difficulty that he's on. He's on, like, the hardest difficulty, isn't he, so... But I remember thinking, oh god, this is, like, tense, because 
as things are getting closer and closer, it's like the timing was so close. I know, Peach. Peach, that my favorite bit is later. Because I, I don't think... I think my favorite bits will be the FPS stuff. So just wait till that bit, because I think that's even better. Just you wait. Yeah, just don't let me drive. Oh, the driving bit is... Oh, sorry, I'm giving you spoilers already, but there's a bit where you uh, drive the ship for the first time, and it's amazing. It's right at the end. Pew, pew, pew. So many. So, am I right? Am I right that does it? I mean, does, does it get explained at the beginning of this cutscene? Did we did we think this was going to be a fair fight, and then that big king ship came out, and we were like, oh, wait, this is no longer fair, or were we already at a disadvantage? Yeah, very detailed. Yeah. Hello, Holy. Who is going to clean up? Think about the environment. Think about the environment. Metal everywhere. So they knew it was coming. And did they already... Marcus! Did they already view the Vandal as more powerful from the beginning? Oh, so Gary knew it was there. Okay, Gary said. Henry Cavill. So they knew the kingship was there. And they're just hoping for the best. You drive a freaking javelin destroyer, but Bruce's Carrick is bad. <laughs> Depends how it flies. Depends if it flies as bad as the Carrick does. If it feels like a whale, then I will also be vetoing that. Herald for life. Wow, Bruce. Wow. Bruce timing himself out. That's on you. Oh! Okay. Transition again to more cutscene. So that was gameplay section two. Then we are casually knocked unconscious. Good. Good stuff. Excellent start. Fast. Small map. Ball. Recovering. This is why you should always wear a helmet. Whether you're cycling or whether you're in space shooting Bandul, wear a helmet. Same thing. <laughs> What's that, a rocket ship? Bia! It's the best ship in the game. This is where shit gets, shit goes, starts to go wrong around here. Things go awry. Uh oh. Scramble any available support ships to pick up survivors. Oh, no. This thing is chewing us up, sir. Break engagement with this destroyer. <laughs> Aligned for a run on the kink ship. Oh, that's funny. Weapons. Do, do, do. I'm gonna need you to cook up a firing solution on that kink ship. Those calibrations. Hit him with everything we got. So, all of our weapons Science. even focused? Have to do something. I right? Don't, I don't think Mr. we... Krause? I don't think we did, Yannick. The Randool aren't going to blow themselves up. Yes, sir. Wait, next time we take a hit... I don't think we did, Thanos. Drop our shields, an extra is 30%. Hear hey, that, sir. shields? Thank sir. you for the follow. Thank Navigation. you so much. Navigation. Sir? Adjust heading. 10 degrees port. Aye, sir. 
I literally just look at the chat and Dimmy says, is that a butt reduction surgery for ships? Question mark. I have no words, Dimmy. Let's get their attention. I, I don't know what to say to them. <laughs> what is it? scary to me look at them look at the teeth it's like a piranha met a grasshopper and had a baby with a human you know fried rice thank you for the riz I find them really scary. Especially later when they're on the ground. Because they're so much bigger than the humans are. Second shield generator is down, sir. Oh, no. Star before exposed. Sir. Hit them again. Waiting on you, Mr. Cross. They're gonna kill us! Press the button, man! Oh! Step aside. That did a fat lot of nothing. Getting power spikes. And charging up the main gun. I guess you got their attention. Say, did he say go? Is that what he said? Go. All right, people. Five seconds out to the frame. Hey! Up, you got a point. I love that he was like, I don't think we're going to win this unless we have Henry Cavill. Is Henry free? He's free? Okay, bring him out. Then we'll win. Copy that. Tally's on me. <laughs> Flight. Echo flight, prep for boost. Jasmine, this is Henry for you. His ship is probably the same as everyone Dang. else's. Broker, take Charlie and Delta and screen up those fires. <laughs> Real, Mug, you're in main. Maybe run a double switch back. Copy that. Charlie's maintain back down. I'll clear your shot. Done. All echoes, stay on the ball. Imagine, imagine that the Vandal are like, oh, is that Henry Cavill? Let's backtrack then. We've got the Super King ship, but if Henry's there, we need to retreat. Maybe his ship is a bit more efficient or something. Maybe he's got a special ship. 
This bit is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Cal, In your whole life? You got the firepower to take that emitter out. <laughs> you might be right. We have reports of Henry Cavill incoming. Turn around. Yet. So this works. Oh god. <laughs> Report. Shields are holding. Barely. I know nothing about um, sci-fi, despite having played Star Citizen for so long. Can I ask a question? So, formation-wise, are they? Is this ship that they're control, like that they're take, you know? taking orders and stuff from is that is their ship right at the back and then their stuff is at the front are they at the back and then all the other ships are protecting them from the front but they're still getting hit they're in the middle is the ship that they are on also firing or are they just there to distribute orders and okay so they they've they're in the biggest ship in the middle yeah they're also shooting, but not not personally, but they're also... Okay, okay. And I'm guessing that every other ship is trying to get their big ship. So they're, they're like the main target, probably, as well. I feel like being at the back would be safer, wouldn't it? Why in the middle? Isn't the middle, like, worse? I mean, clearly I don't know anything about strategy. Space strategy. I, I feel like I would put them way at the back. And as space tactics. The back can be flanked. Okay, so that it protects you from people going around the side, around the... Right, 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 right. Maximize the firepower. This is so interesting to me now. Okay, thank you for the information. Hey. Not if you're Henry Cavill. That shot took out our main thrusters. No, not us, them. Back can be flanked. The kingship shields are down. Yes. <laughs> we don't celebrate until they're dead. I like to think that's the Vandal version of the middle of the middle finger. That's definitely him just flipping him off. <laughs> We're fucked. special staff of glory with purple powers Flashlight. Speaking of 
flanking. Sir, Kingship's headed right for us. Uh-oh. Can we evade? Shot took out the main thruster, sir. I'm trying to get the auxiliaries online. I'm getting a rapid increase in the Kingship's energy signature. Looks like they're trying to go critical. There's also Even another actor that you may recognize in this bit. Range on auxiliary. If you have watched Bridgerton. Attention, fleet. I don't, know, I don't know when he pops up, though. This is Admiral Bishop. You are ordered to immediately withdraw. I repeat. Abandon sheep. Withdraw. All non-essential personnel Everybody out. are dismissed to abandon ship. If you want to volunteer to stay, we can sure use your help. All right. Tell the gunner. Can we have a poll in the chat? If you were in this situation on that ship and he said, you can go home if you would like to, but we could sure use your help, what would you do? Be honest. Tell us. Get <laughs> You're staying? I love this. So many of you are like, I'm I'm sticking around. We stay, we fight. <laughs> Bit said I'll get go home and get fired. You're noping out. <laughs> Maybe there's a compromise. You could say that you're gonna stay. You're like, I'm absolutely I'm staying, and then you just quickly hide under the bed so you don't have to do anything. But technically you have stayed. But you're not really helping either. Uh, amen if, if it is <laughs> hold the line it would be a good way to go it would be a good way to go us to concentrate all the power they've got maybe we can take out this king ship before it hits us yes sir Logistics. it's like when your manager is like juice pumped into those guns we could do some with some overtime breathe or shoot anyone free to stay it. for what pay You could hide in the toilet. Such a good transition. Oh! Pans back down to the player who is unconscious. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, up we get. Gameplay. Third gameplay section. There's a pot here, come on! Go, FPS go, go. time. Woo! Come on! Come on, come on! No time for sleeping. The last med pen. I can't pay for my latte without honor. A moderate concussion, yes. A tier three head injury is nothing when we have a situation like this on our hands. I don't know if you guys, people that have already seen this, I don't know if you guys felt this way, but when it hit this moment, I was really, really, it kind of really Welcome took back. me to some of cyberpunk gameplay, obviously the good cyberpunk play, gameplay when it had been fixed and obviously all the bugs had been ironed out and stuff. But when it got to this bit, I was like, wow, this is like all of my favorite parts of cyberpunk mixed with Mass Effect. And I just got so excited because the lighting and a lot of how they'd colored it, like the color grading on it, the the graphics kind of level almost or how they've just made it seemed really cyberpunk reminiscent but without some of the like really garish colors it was like really natural i don't know if that makes any sense but i was just getting a bit of of all my like favorite things that i've played hi naughty ostrich again you resubbed the other day and then by the time i saw it because i think i was fighting or i was distracted i think you'd left the chat but thank you so much for the resub the other day 
And hi, Bonbon. Anyone that's following right now, if I missed it, thank you so much for the follow. It's nice to have you. Hi, Boji. Thank you for the prime. Which vid is this? Oh, I think Spazzy's got it for you there. There you are. You're welcome. Hi, Casabella. Wonder how he got up without anyone without anyone using med. That's true. That's true, Chris. He got up off his own accord and then needed the med pen. Let's pretend like we didn't notice that. I didn't see that, did you? I think I can crouch under there. I saw nothing. Let's go! Ah! Okay, this is when they're scary. Look how scary they are. Shit. Ah! They're massive! Nope, nope, nope. Petrifying. Action hero trope. Rise out of pure willpower and then heal yourself. <laughs> it's so true. Hey, hey, hold the door. Escape pod. Brood. I don't think anyone made it from that pod anyway. I need to find another way out of here. I mean, I think you get a bit of a map tutorial. Like a local map tutorial. Oh, look at this. I love it. I'm too excited to eat. Oh, I love this bit. Through the beds. Do, 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 do. Someone's teddy bear. Photos of their kids. Water flasks. Gone to the wind. Crispy, <laughs> Bruce. Crispy. <laughs> Look how tall they are! Oh, he died. They, they seem to be like a third bigger than people. Not like double the size, but... Oh! Uh. Scary. Casabella, this is the Squadron 42 reveal that came out a few days ago. This is the story game that's set in the world of Star Citizen. So we're just recapping it because I really wanted to show it to you. This game should be out in about two years. They're still working on it. This is a work in progress. Um, I do some motion capture in this as well, some voices and stuff, but I'm just so excited. I wanted to show everybody. Do -do -do -do. Ooh, avat yes, avatar type of height. Do -do -do -do. Username, peach mode. Password, 6-9. I just, I, I love, I love when a tutorial is intelligently integrated into gameplay. I love that. You know, at the beginning of Requiem, when you do the hide and seek, it's just smart. Like there's, there's ways of doing it that are not boring or immersed, immersion breaking. Like, because right now you're going, oh my god, I, I could die at any minute. At the same time, you're learning how to get the credentials off of an NPC. Win-win. Yeah. 
If it looks like this now, in two years, can you imagine? Username Steamy Buns. Wiping the visor, little wipe. Said. Oh, comic nerd. Oh, I'm not going to give you any spoilers. Enjoy Requiem. Tell me if you enjoy it when you get to the end. Hi, Saku. Do they have better sm Do they, what, you think the Vandal, how they smell? They could be fishy because they kind of look like piranhas. Right. First time we get a gun, which I got excited about. Please tell me there's controller integration on this. Please, don't make me do this on mouse and keys. Yeah, Bruce, I'll play this on maximum difficulty. And we will never get through it. Oi, oi. Rude. Little, um, little bits on, of, of hair. Oh, they, ch yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Little dreadlocks. play on controller yes i'm just whenever i see the mouse and keys overlay on the screen i'm always like do i have to do it like that chris roberts plays it on a controller has has chris absolutely said that i know we've seen him play on controller but has he said that he doesn't do mouse and keys has he said that Systems back online. I love him even more now. I love him even more. It reminds me of any isolation. Utter chaos everywhere. I'm embarrassed for him. Not sure if anybody was around for my first ever stream of Star Citizen three years ago. I didn't understand anything about the game. I was just being chauffeured around by um, Cobra's community legend. And I walked up to an airlock. 
there was a clip of this, I'm sure you've seen it. Walked up to an airlock, um, opened it and just left. Um, not even wearing a spacesuit. I was just wearing, um, I think, like a shirt and trousers. Opened an airlock and just left and died. Um, so this was specifically triggering to see in the trailer. It was brought me right back to that moment. <sighs> I'm not over it yet. Anyway, here's a bit of uh, zero G gameplay. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> What's in the past is in the past. <laughs> This is the only bit of gameplay that I feel like I, I wasn't fully understanding. So as you're in, so when it gets to the prompt, when the prompt pops up, you press it and you grab to that, that point that you've targeted and then you launch yourself off again. So you don't, and I, I'm, am I right that you don't have like, free reign in zero G. You have to bounce from place to place. I did, I spaced myself, I did. Dilly. No EVA, okay, so if we did have EVA suit, you would have different gameplay here then. Just so immersive. Everything's still raging around outside whilst you're just trying not to get hit by a stray bullet. I'm glad it's in first person. I, I tend to prefer games in third person but with this I don't think I want it third person actually I think it suits it I was happy with the first person so good I know thank you thank you for sitting here and watching all of this with me because I was just so excited to, to show you we will play very soon we have we have 10 minutes left Ten minutes. And it's got... Like, yeah, it's got all the action and the music and the adventure, but this is really dark. Like, all the bodies floating. Like, you know it's going to feel really dark as well. Which you got to love. Got to love a bit of dark. Darkness. <laughs> oh yeah, and then Bruce, was it you that you reminded me that this was timed? Because in that, sorry, my camera is covering it, but in the bottom left, you've got your hydration level, your temperature, your oxygen, and your health. And throughout this whole time, your oxygen is going down and down and down. So I guess there is, you could, you could also die if you took too long doing this bit. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate, of course. Sorry for the frame drops again. I don't know what's happening today. So annoying. It should stabilize after a while. <laughs> Survival! <laughs> yes, it's not just like a timer that's generic. It, it changes on your, how much effort you're putting out, surely as well. Because you'd be breathing, you'd be breathing differently according to your exertion. Mm. Jasmine, what kind of games do you normally play? Like, what's your thing? You like a first-person RPG or you like cozy? 
What type, what, what type of things do you like? Oh, is it, oh yeah, that's in Star Citizen already, the exertion thing. We're almost there. We're almost to safety. I remember laughing at this bit because it just saw in the top right, it said get to safety. And I was like, Pressurizing. nowhere is safe. Like, even if you get to a safe room, you're still not safe for much longer. Pressurized. Gravity online. There was a big hooray here in the room at the time. Congrats, he made it. Clap, clap, clap. Where is the character trying to go? Just to get to safety because the ship that the ship that the player was on was exploding. So we had to go somewhere that was safer to an escape pod. And then we get this last cutscene to end it. And Jillian's there being Jillian. Thought I was the only one left. So did I. Look, I need your help with something. Follow me. We're running low on power. But he jumped out and went somewhere else, didn't he? Or did he go round on the same ship? Hi, Geratol. How are you? Welcome in. Um, are you new to Star Citizen or are you new to my stream, did you say? Sorry, the chat went by. We play Star Citizen uh, once a month, but we, we normally have played it a lot more. I just wanted to show the chat the squadron reveal because it's been so, so cool. Same ship. So he went out, out of the ship and then back in, just a different place. To the other, to the other half of it, right. Ready? Go. The first time the player drives is now. Because Jillian's like, get in the pilot seat. Look at that! Bruce, I'm pretty sure I punched you at this point from excitement. Oh! Oh my god, I just love it. Dun, 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 dun. Is my stream breaking? Come on. I didn't do it. RPGs in general and nothing horror. Good. Okay, Jasmine, I will remember Good. that. Hold that. Shifting power back to shields. Shields? Engage motor pilot. I ordered you to fall back. Can't do that. You're dead in the water, and we can help. Kind of breaking, yeah. The Is it okay now? Is under control. You are to reverse. Is it all right? You can't kill it. Not before it takes you out. We are boarded and burning. This is the only way. Mark your course. Get off that thing. Both of you, clear? Aye, aye. Rachel. I will. First name basis. Damn it. They're on a javelin. Spazzy. Scary as hell. I've got to try and divert as much energy as I can to the engine. Cute. Stridge, come oh, on. I need you to hold and them off. Cute, moist, and unbothered again. K9, yes, thank sir. you for the 2,500 bits. This is so many bits for the Mudang Redeem. Thank you, K9, so much. You crazy. Thank you. Oh, okay. Because the first name basis was. I was wondering what he, what he, what he, what he was to her. So that makes sense. Okay. Safety's on the reactor. Bit of halo there. Juice. Father daughter. Do, 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 do. No, the, so the Bridgerton guy, the, the older brother in Bridgerton who becomes the romantic lead in season two. I've seen him a couple times at one of the kiosks, at like one of the desks somewhere. Um, so yeah, he's in. I don't, I, don't, I don't think maybe this. I didn't notice it this time, but inflation. 
<laughs> so yeah, this is the very end bit. You get to this bit and then sh then you have a bit of FPS with a bunch of Vandal. But they just, I don't know what it is. There's loads of alien type things in armor and I don't know why this, they just feel really harrowing, these ones. I, I think it's their size. Like the, the... Like they're so quick as well. Whoa! And the bot, they bob and weave. I've eaten worse than a kebab. <laughs> it's the way that they're like, woo, woo, woo. Cheeky med pen. Oh. Move, move, move. Go on, Jillian. This can't be on the... They were a lot more tanky in the first trailer. Maybe he's not on major difficulty. Maybe it's one step down. Oh! Imagine they'll have more animations for that when it comes out in two years. Because right now it's the same one. Army, quick. Oh, she, she said what she said. Go, go, go. Oh, is your this controller? Door is jacked. That would make sense. I need you to manually override <laughs> the door. <laughs> Lizard-like. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think... Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a rifle. Lizardy. I'll cover you. We give Jillian the gun. I just need a minute to finish up here. She doesn't glitch this time like they did in the first one. In the initial trailer, we, you hand her the pistol and she disappeared. What's the status on the door? She evaporated. We're good. Down! I don't remember this. Captain. Julian? Sir. Did we see this bit? I do not remember this. Don't argue. Oh, that's the bit that glitched. Oh, we didn't get to see it. What happened to her? She broke a rib? No. Give this to Bishop. No! Tell him it's all gonna be okay. Did she die there? No, surely not. Tell him it was a good trip. Jillian, you get in that escape pod. Get the hell out of here. We'll get you to Orison Hospital. Oh. Does she die? We don't know. I guess you won't know until we play it. Oh, she's been cut. Let's get out of here. Absolutely not, Jillian. You. We leave you in no state like this. Oh. Oh. Quickly, quickly, pick up the pace. You just take a seat here, Jillian, and try not to get blood on the upholstery. Seatbelts on. Oh, that's so cool. Hi, Big Cham. How are you doing? Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. There I you go. Solemnly pledged mind and body a little bit of a teaser I but that's all we get for two years now my life you have to wait now your application to the flight academy has been reconsidered uh, captain mclaren had submitted a letter of recommendation on your behalf before the back you might recognize a few more faces now we may be a small crew but the work we do matters 
Welcome to the Stanton. I'm Eugene Morrow. Eugene! I'm Petty Officer Webster, Chief Mechanic. This will be your new home. We got you flying with Lieutenant Commander Colton. He's one of our best. Look at Sir, who the hell are you? I'm your new wingman, sir. The name's... You want me to learn your name? You live long enough for me to care. Baron Actual, you're clear to launch. Launching in three, two, one. remind ourselves that there are people that still play, still don't play video games there are people in life this is how much i watch snl clearly um there are people in life that still don't play video games i feel my heart hurts for people that don't game when you when you watch something like that i actually want to cry for them <laughs> kevin said it looks okay i guess thank you for 100 bits oh oh my gosh it's just so exciting and yes you probably saw mark hamill in there mark hamill's in this it's just so cool just so cool. So I cannot wait to play that on stream, hopefully in a couple of years. I'm going to, let's just say three. Let's just say three years, just in case something happens. Should we just say that? Let's just say comfortable, comfortable three years, just in case. I really watch SNL, just clips of it now. Me too. I just catch up on everything. This is clearly my interest here. We've got a bit of Star Citizen. We've got Lo-Fi for the background of my streams. Ella Purnell, because I'm in love with her. And a bit of Chappelle Roan, makes sense. And SNL sketches and hot ones. There you go. Sums me up. Sums me up there. Do, do, do. I think two is even comfy looking at this. You think? Oh, because you're saying it already looks so good that it, it makes sense that it could be two years. Well, I mean, it looks polished already. Obviously, I know that the crash. I'm guessing they have to polish, polish up. Um, What's the word? Like, what's the, there's a, there's a word for like how smooth something runs, not the way it looks that that's the i'm guessing they're tweaking optimization sorry there you go thank you that's exactly what i meant tiki so now i'm guessing now the game is finalized they're just over the next couple of years gonna look at optimization see how it runs and then that's all we've got to wait for how bloody exciting thagonix i am so freaking excited did you say you were a dev um we are all hyped so hyped so 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 hyped okay should we actually play something now um, I think because of this reveal of this trailer, a lot of people have been playing Star Citizen, so it might be that we have a few bugs today, but no shocker. So let's just bear with it. <laughs> let's just bear with it as much as we can. Do, do, do. Put my spooky music back on for you. Whilst we get into gameplay. And Brucey, do I have to re-add you as a friend now? Because we've not played for a while. He had to be using mouse and keys because he had to hit F to open stuff. Yes, I think he was. Yeah, sorry. I think I think the controller thing was a joke because of the um, because of the aiming. Now nah, watch the demo again. Let's just watch the demo all over again. AJ, I'm gonna go get the hat redeem now. We have an esport project at school, and a colleague was openly condescending about video games and the questionable skills they require. And I sent her an email of 681 words, an email of 681 words explaining how much she was wrong oh oh she wrong they they've done tests on um like hand-eye coordination drivers all the gamers are better gaming wins gaming wins <laughs> back to the real gameplay sag my wife doesn't really play at all but she does like strong narrative games i think story people play games for different reasons i always say this 
people are either led by story or gameplay. And I think this looks like it's got a bit of both. So I'm, I'm very hyped. I'm very, very hyped. Thank you for sitting there for an hour and watching that with me. Um, let's play now. Do, do, 